Hey guys and welcome to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. In this video today, I am super excited, right? Because we now have X-Men. Well, we kind of have X-Men. This is an alpha build. So everything you see in here is a work in progress and not reflective of the final product. But hopefully uh, the manner in and the speed in which Hotego, the developer who is working on bringing this core over to FPGA systems, such as the Mr. C the City and the Analog Pocket, he works at amazing speed so hopefully we'll have this sooner rather than later now i've played this i've done like the first three or three or four levels for this video i've tested out all the characters and guys as far as the feeling of the game goes it feels good right uh where it is still a work in progress there are some issues with the sound for example you've got some of the backing music but currently you don't have like the punch sounds right you know when you're hitting your enemy you hear that doosh, 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 doosh. You don't get that, right? But obviously, like I said, it is a work in progress, right? But it's amazing to check this stuff out. I love doing these work in progress builds because it's nice to see where the core was and when it goes into beta, what, what it looks like. And when it finally gets a public release where it's available to everyone, whether they support or take on Patreon or not, what it looks like as the final product, right? It's amazing. So uh, I want to tell you a little story. There was, there was this little guy who was a teenager. He didn't have a lot of money. And sometimes he would have enough money for a travel card. Then him and his friends used to go to central London. And in central London, you had all the main arcade games. And I remember X-Men being in, I think it was a Trocadero, but it was definitely one of the central London arcades, right? So this little kid would go out there and he didn't have the money so he used to watch other people play games like x-men and he always always wanted to play it right hey and you probably guessed it that little kid was me don't get me wrong i did have money at times i spent money but i didn't have unlimited money so it was nice to go to central london and watch other people other tourists or whoever it was playing these games i guess it was like the twitch and the youtube of that time because we didn't have the internet we didn't have twitch we didn't have youtube so if you wanted to watch someone play games you would actually have to go to an arcade or go to your friend's house so guys x-men is a scrolling beat em up it's got uh, six characters in there there are two player versions four player versions and a six player version of this game now from what i understand hotego is going to be releasing the two player version and the four player version now it's not like the six player version is impossible to bring over but it may be down to not having a six player pcb right it might be something that can happen in the future but at least for the initial release it's going to be uh, two players and four players i mean i'm kind of good i've got three kids i can play the four player version and i don't have that many friends around simultaneously so i'm good but i can understand if you're a social butterfly how you could uh benefit from playing the six player version now the characters that you can pick in here are cyclops colossus wolverine storm night claw night night clawler i was going to say night crawler and dazzler now i read x-men comics like when i was a teenager there was an artist called jim lee he was very very good and i think he went on to do like image comics or something those x-men comics were the rage and i read them and honestly even when memory's bad which i know it is many many times or it has been on many many occasions right i forget stuff but i don't remember dazzler i don't remember dazzler and even in the game i felt dazzler was the weakest character wolverine is obviously the fun one to pick because hey man who doesn't like claws colossus is pretty good as well with his metallic kind of outer side storm again with well, Storm's just cool, right? Even Nightcrawler, I kind of like Nightcrawler, uh, Nightcrawler as well because he's got like these crouching attacks. Now, what's good about this game as well is when you attack the enemies and they are on the floor, guess what? You can hit them when they're downed on the floor. It just works really, really well. Now, some of the issues with this, now the version that I got, I don't actually have a button for the special. I've only got two buttons there, jump and attack. So that's why you're not seeing any of the special moves. So some, some of like the attacks you've got here, there's a certain point in the jump i don't know if it's just down an attack or whether you hit a certain point in the jump and press attack you kind of launch forward at them but it's really interesting the way you hit the characters when they fall down if you like marvel comics you like x-men you will absolutely you will love it right you'll see some characters in here that you know and love from the comics from uh, the cartoons and i guess even later on from some of the movies i need to watch that wolverine and deadpool movie that kind of reminds me but guys this this is it right i wanted to show you this in action just a quick little preview of this because this is x-men this is this is a big arcade game from its era it's one of the big konami games hopefully in future uh, after this gets released we'll be getting teenage mutant ninja turtles turtles in time but for now 
I am amazed at X-Men. I'm, I'm excited about it. I might not sound as hype as I usually do, but when I sound hype is when it's when I've had a good night's sleep and I have a coffee. I've had a long day at work, man, but I was so excited that I had access to this and I could bring this to you guys in a video uh, so you guys could check it out. So let me know what you guys think. It's coming out, like I said, for the CD, the Unlock Pocket, and the Mr. FPJ. All the footage here is from the Mr. FPGA guys. And, I, and I'll say it again if I didn't say it at the beginning because I always end up doing a few takes. Um, I always recommend supporting Hotego over on Patreon if you want early access to games and also you're contributing towards FPGA core development. But that's it for this video guys. Just a quick look at this game. Uh, can't wait for it to get a beta release so you guys can try it as well. And I can't wait for it to get a public release so everyone out there can actually uh, enjoy this. So that's really it guys. Be absolutely awesome to one another if you're not subscribed to the channel. Then a subscription and a like is always super duper appreciated. Be absolutely awesome to one another, guys. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.